Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you with some of my tips to making your foundation not look like, not show your dry skin. So tips to making your dry skin hidden while wearing foundation and just some tips for dry skin in general. Um, I really love, uh, lo 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 love the way my foundation turned out. Um, I can't see any of my red uh, eczema patches at all. So that's really, really good. And yeah, if you are interested in watching, definitely just keep watching the video. Blah, blah, blah. I keep saying definitely. Right. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment before you leave. Alright, let's get into fixing these skin issues. Alright, so on camera, I don't know if you guys can tell, but... In person, it's a lot more obvious to me, but right up on the top of my forehead here, I'm starting to get eczema patches. Now, I have them on my arms and stuff already, but I always start to get them, like, during December and January. Um, but they basically start out as, like, red spots. I don't know if you can see, but there's the biggest one is right here, and then there's another one here and here. Um, and then I do get a little bit right here in, in there as well, but it seems like a little less pink than it usually is. Um, but to do th this is just because of really, really, really dry skin. And I've always had this, so I've been kind of trying to get the perfect routine down so that I can kind of battle the dry skin and make it look like I don't have dry skin when I'm wearing the foundation and stuff. So if you, <laughs> if that makes sense at all, if you're following me, let's just get into how I do it with my dress skin, how I work with my dress skin. I'm going to open my brush. Alright. So, the first thing I do before I put on my makeup is I moisturize my skin. Now, generally I use a bunch of little sampler ones, but I've really been liking this one a lot lately. It's the Murad, uh, lately it's the Murad, blah, 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 blah. Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. And just this little baby guy, but um, I also really, really like the uh, Tarte um, um, H2O. Forget what it is, but it's like a gel moisturizer, and I really love that. I really love gel moisturizers. But I'm just gonna take it, kind of dot it where I'm the most um, dry. I always get dry on the edges of my nose too, but I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. I'm going in circular motions and then I'm like swiping it downward. Just to get it to go into the skin. I'm staying away from the outer portions of my face just because they don't get as dry, so it do I don't really need that extra um extra moisture out there so the next thing i do is i'm going to take this um lancome genifique advanced serum and i'm just gonna i got the little travel size you can get these for free a bunch of places but i am just going to put one to actually i'm going to put like three drops because this thing's small and put three drops of this of the small one one drop of the big one and i'm just going to smooth that out all over my face I kind of have this acting as a primer, but I also will use another primer. So, and I just kind of let that get a little bit sticky. That's how it always feels to me, it's sticky. And then I'm going to finish that off with my hangover primer. So once that's smooth all over my face, I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to drench my face. Now I need another one. This is like my fourth bottle, but I need another one already. So 
So I drench my face in that and then I kind of just fan myself dry until it, dry, it di dries down a little bit and then I'll put on my foundation. Now, a lot of things I've been hearing lately is that people um, with dry skin have been using beauty blenders but they want more coverage. So um, I'm kind of going to give you tips for that too. Um, with any foundation, you can make it a sheer foundation or a really high coverage foundation. It just really depends on what tool you use. So you could be using, well, for the most sheer coverage, you're going to use this uh, a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. You could also use the one for Morphe. I really like this one as well, but this is the nude beauty blender. I just picked it up. Or for a little bit more high coverage, you could use a brush like this. These are from Morphe. This is a dome topped. I've always find that this has a little bit less coverage than a flat top brush does. So this one will give you pretty much like sheer to medium and but buildable. And then this one is going to give you a lot of coverage. And this is a flat top. This is the E6. It's one of my favorites. This one is the E44. And then for the most coverage, which I just got this and I'm so happy I did, um, and it kind of makes your product go the longest way, you can use an artiste brush or a circular brush like this if there are any dupes out there. If you want to see me test out some dupes, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I just got this for Christmas. All right, so I am going to go for a little bit more of a, a little bit higher coverage um, foundation today, but I still want it to look pretty natural, so I'm going to use the... Smashbox, Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. Um, I really love this one. It's really natural looking, but still has really good coverage. So this is what I'm going to use. And I am going to use it on my Artiste brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then dot it. I see people like squirt it on the brush, but I don't really like doing that. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four. That was probably too much. This, this brush makes it go a long way. It probably just took too much. But I'm going to go ahead and dot that around my face. I'm sorry if you can hear my family in the background. They like to t talk very loudly while I'm filming. So now that I've had it dotted around, I'm going to take the excess that's on my finger and just rub it on the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling it downward on my face. This brush is like amazing. I don't know. I'm like, I'm so happy I got it. Honestly, I probably would have never purchased it, purchased it for myself. But now that um, I have it and I've tested it out, I honestly think everyone should have it. It's so good. And it takes so much less time to put on foundation. I'm just kind of working it around my face. And I am also covering up my eyes with it as well. So that's the foundation. And then, so um, to put moisture back into your skin on top of that high coverageness, I always, I'll dip a little bit in whatever's left over on my hand. So I'll take that on my beauty blender and then I'll take my Fix Plus. I'm gonna spray my entire face again. And then I'm going to tap this into my skin. And this is just pushing that moisture back into the skin after applying something that's so high coverage on top of it. I always apply more on the um, forehead just because of my eczema spots there. All right, and now whenever you set your face with a powder, it is going to kind of make it look more matte and maybe bring out that dryness. So I'm gonna skip that step for today. Generally, I love setting my face, but yeah, I'm going to set my under eye though just because I always set my under eye. And I'm just going to take my chart shape tape and highlight and uh, conceal. For the bigger portions of my face, I'm going to use this, but then the rest I'm going to use 
my um, beauty blender. Even the nose portion was a little bit too big. All right, and then under the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender to blend that out. All right, so now that we have the base, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eye really quick and, quick, and to do that, I'm going to be using my, if I can find it, my um, Bye Bye Pores Press Powder from It Cosmetics. If I could find my brush, I'm just gonna use the R13 brush from Morphe. I'm just going to push that into the skin. Everywhere that I put that concealer. Alright, so now that I've set that, I'm going to ha go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm just doing something really simple today. I'll probably speed through this part for you guys, but I'm going to be using my Sweet Peach palette. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the tips help you out. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if they did help you or if you were going to try them at all. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.